Oh, I thought the lights were off in there for a second. I was like, what the hell are they doing in there? Uh, do I look dangerous to you? I'm sure a big man like you isn't scared of me. Dude, just go in. <laughs> he didn't like being chatted up by a bloke. Uh, what a homophobe. Get out of here. Let's just be nonchalant, shall we? Just freaking strut my stuff. Don't act like you're not impressed. Why am I glitching when I walk? Weird. It goes, it looks like I'm going to run, and then, no, like that, it's, the fuck? A vent. Money. Aha. I got Mercurio's dollar bills back. Okay. I'm stuck. Oh. Um, I'm thinking... I should save again. Just in case this goes for... Nah, no. You know what? Nah, I'm gonna just risk it. Risk it for a biscuit. You look real good in there. Before we do business, before anything changes hands, I want you to hear me. If you try to cross me... Ew. Tell the cops about me, I will find you. Then I will fuck you. You are a cop. I will fuck you and your whole family. Including that squirrel in your front yard. What can I do to make you walk out feeling like you just flew first class with a cheerleader in your lap? This dialogue is completely different, because normally I've played this as a female character, so that dialogue is completely different. Um, what have you got? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of 8,000 narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, red, black, you pick a color. How does he know we haven't got SWAT teams surrounding the building right now and this is a sting? How does he not know that? Like, it, it, it could be. Uh, got any explosives? Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Um, I'm going fishing. Uh, wife got the house in the divorce. Some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's bigger, meaner cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around, it's too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. Um, Mercurio already paid for it. Remember him? Mercurio? Yeah, we know him. We know Mercurio, don't we? How is our friend Mercurio? Um, not well. I came for the astral that you promised him, or alive, which is more than you'll be. This is what they call payback, asshole. Hey, stop right oh, what? 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 I could drink his blood. Now you are a dead man. Get this door out of my way! What is this shit? I'm just gonna take this, if you don't mind. They fucking glitched that door! Gosh darn it, I gotta... What's that? I'm taking this. Freaking mess with a vampire, you stupid. Ow. Tip the fucking table over. Hey, you get the hell back here. Oh, you're gonna regret that. And they're all dead. That went so smooth. Barely got a scratch on me. Any more weapons on around that I can take? Yeah, I'll do. Take that. And the nails worth stealing. 
already got one of these, I guess. Nice. That, that went... That went quite smoothly. Um, I've nearly died doing this bit a few times in the past. So, I'm glad that went well. Anything worth stealing around the back of the house? No. I suppose it's not really stealing if the people who own the stuff are dead. What the? Oh, I could have snuck through here. Ah! Okay, well. They're dead, so... What the hell was that? I just saw something on the floor. No, nope, never mind. Oh, that's good. So we got Mercurio's money, and we got the Astralite, and a cast area. Hmm. I don't want my humanity to shift too low. But I have the stuff to sell this idiot. You have any of those items you mentioned? Um I have special gum for your teeth. Um, uh, now do you need some unicorn blood? Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. I have three, three hundred dollars, yeah! I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. And just to be sure, you may want to kill the vampire with this holy stake for ninety dollars. Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find a head vampire? Um, hmm. Let's see, LaCroix is the head of the Camarilla. And uh, Nines Rodriguez is the head of the Bruja clan. Uh, so... Uh, or I can send him off to the President of the United States. Uh, if I send you off to Rodriguez, the chances they might let you free without killing you, so... Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Well, he's gone. Am I going to lose more humanity, or am I okay? I didn't lose more humanity. Okay, that's good. I now have enough to up my lockpicking skill. Um, can I increase anything else? No. Okay. So lockpicking is up by one. So my lockpicking skill is now three. All right, cool. I now have the ability to, with blood buff, steal the astro not astrolite, the morphine to give to Mercurio. And since that's a good deed, that should gain me humanity as well. And since humanity shifts a doubled, I'll get double humanity. Hmm. Oh, hold on. I, while I'm up and about, I might as well visit the diner. Because that's where the guy said to start looking for Lily, who changed him into a thin blood. Hmm. It's probably time I saved the game, so I'll just quickly do that. Okay. The cream's curdled, I can smell it, and I think those are rat droppings there. The health inspector. Let me just get my bed and I'll show you. Fifty bucks? You call that a bribe? Uh, oh wait, I need to talk to her again, don't I? You ever see any pale, kind of strange types in here late at night? Good point. Um, have you ever heard the term thin blood? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those diseases? Yeah, something like that. Try to remember, where did you hear it? Mm. I know I've heard that before. Maybe a strange pretty girl said something about it recently? Oh, that girl. Nice girl. 
First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies that have been sick. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, where? She left the tip. She thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the room until it closed. She left some stuff here. You were sitting there. Why don't you give it back to her? Thanks a lot, I'll be sure to do that. Ah, I've got more experience. But, first, I'm gonna leave that diner because that music was quite loud. Right. I got a purse and a photo. Santa Monica Lily. So that's Lily in that weird looking t shirt. And that's her poise. Alright. Three experience points. I can upgrade a skill. Uh, ability to fight in close combat with handheld weapons such as knives and swords. Uh, intimidation. Ability to instill fear. Subterfuge is needed for the feat of seduction. That's needed for the feat of seduction as well. Uh, I can't upgrade those. Crappy, crappity crap. Uh, Increases your persuasion. Um, this is so difficult to get like the right ones. Oops, to get like the right skills up. Um, I'm gonna crank that up. My subterfuge. Or am I? Can I? Get another one of these, maybe. No, okay, yeah. Let's let's crank subterfuge up so my fix reduction is even higher. Right, what did I get? I just picked up stuff from her purse, didn't I? Bail bond. This way. has a doomsayer in the 21st century? Uh, S2Z. Mm, Toten R. Immigration bond amount $1,500. Car red lightning bird plate guy Coney. Go back to Germania. Shut up. Okay, so, um, that red car was in the parking lot. I ran past earlier and I looked at the trunk and had a padlock, which means it was locked, which means it's probably unlocked now. Oh, my phone is ringing. God, why do people always call me when I'm busy? I hardly ever get phone calls. Unless I'm busy. Right. I was going to go look for the red car that says Guy Coney on the number plate. Um, red car. Red car. Red car. Red car. Yep. Close. Journal. Aha. This seems to be a woman's diary. The 4th of the 3rd. Sorry, the, th <laughs> the 30th of the 4th. I forget American dates are backwards for us. I met a guy today at the asylum. He's so beautiful, oh my god. His name's Rolf, and he is from Germany. European men are just so classy compared to boring California boys. He asked to see me tomorrow night. I wonder if he's rich. He looks rich. I'm going to go shopping tomorrow and pick up something that won't make me look like a big fat pig. Really? Can't wait to see him. 21st of the 5th. I think it's getting serious with Rolf. He told me he wanted to give me something very special next week. And if it's what I think it is, it's about damn time. I thought Europeans were supposed to be less uptight about this sort of thing. That's offensive. The 6th of the 6th. I woke up at 9pm today. That would be strange in itself, except I don't remember going to sleep last night. 
In fact, I don't remember anything since last Saturday night when Rolf was over. Hmm. Tenth of the sixth. I woke up late again. I haven't eaten anything in four days. I don't know what is wrong with me. The eleventh of the sixth. Rolf came over last night. He said the reason I hadn't eaten anything was because I needed blood. He said it was all I could eat now. That I wouldn't feel hungry anymore if I drank some. He had a bag of it from the local blood bank. I tried to refuse, but I could not. What is happening to me? The 26th of the 7th. Rolf said he's going to have to leave soon. He said people are trying to force him out of the country. That'll be the government. He didn't say anything about taking me with him. That's how the law works. The 22nd of the 8th. I had to bail Rolf out of jail today. He was arrested because his visa expired. He looked frightened. I'm afraid he's going to leave. He's a vampire. He can just drop off the radar. Anyway, 7th of the 12th. I haven't seen or heard from Rolf since the night I bailed him out. I don't know what to do. I thought he cared about me. Why would he do this to me? He's probably dead. The 15th of the 4th of 4. I talked with this guy I met in the surf side until 5 this morning. That'll be the diner. When I told him I had to go, I felt like Cinderella. He seemed like a prince. 16th of the 4th of 4. I met that guy from Surfside again. He has no idea what I am. Dot, 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 dot. 24th of the 4th. I brought E, the guy from Surfside, back to my apartment last night. He said he's going back to Australia in a few days, now that the tournament's coming to an end. I don't want him to leave. I never felt this way about anyone before, not even Rolf. 25th of the 4th. E kissed me last night, and I couldn't stop myself from biting into his neck. But I drank too much, and I gave some of my blood to him. When I explained it all to him, he said he never wanted to see me again. What have I done? The 8th of the 5th. I haven't been able to feed since that night with E. I'm afraid of what will happen. I remember Rolf brought blood back from the blood bank. Maybe if I can sneak in, I can grab a few bags and get out before anyone catches me. Okay. Ah, oh, delayed sound. That made me jump. Right. So, you're located Lily Journal, last minute, blah, 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 break into the blood bank. Okay. Um, the blood bank is going to be in the clinic, and I have to go to the clinic anyway in order to get the morphine, or the painkillers, for, um... What the f... Please tell me that's going to be on the recording. There's a woman just... <laughs> um, I've lost my trail of thought. Right, we need the painkillers for Mercurio, and then we need... to go into the blood bank to find Lily. We might also want to buy some blood bags if we or steal some blood bags or whatever, because uh, we need blood obviously to live, and it's good to have blood bags handy every now and then because sometimes you're not near someone who you can feed off of, so on and so forth. Son of beach, come on, 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 yay, yay, mission accomplished. Let's pick this lock while we're at it. Hell yeah! Skills. So if I'm not mistaken... Uh, what the fuck did I just do? Um, I? No. L. You've acquired some morphine which should ease Mercurio's pain quite nicely. Okay. I'm sure he's okay. I don't think he will have died by now. At least I hope not. Hey bitch! You next up for the needle? Mm -hmm. Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. My name's E. Drizzle. Alright. Not Jack. You are friend. Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So... Uh, so you're clearly a ghoul. I need to get into the back room. Bam! Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Queen bitch. Boop. Now serving numbers. God, I hate you. Need a fix? I need to get into the back room. Employees only. Uh, over the door. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. What's your name? Vandal. I hate you, Vandal. Let me buy some blood from you. 
what do you, what, how much we talk? Oh, I got a lot of money. Wow. All right, we got good blood and a few bags of regular blood. By the way, I hate you. And now I'm an enigma. You will never see me again. Yeah. Hmm. Oops. All uh, right. What I'm gonna do is save in case something bad happens while I'm in here. So, okay. Oh, I'm having an FPS drop. Oh, it's gone. What's in here? Yo, look. Shit. There's a guy. Nah. <laughs> He didn't see me coming. Whoa, yeah, whoa, whoa, careful that boy. You wanna get overzealous? Accidentally drain him dry. Whoever that guy is, anyway. I'm gonna call him Bobby. Bobby the nurse. Uh, um, what? What's the only option I have? Oh, poop. Try that. Two word passwords. Uh, temperature? Okay, so we know the temperature in Freezer 3 is incredibly low. I mean, high, considering it's a freezer. There's gotta be a reason for that. 1969. Okay. Don't want Vandal hearing us. Those must be the freezers. Is this freezer three? No. So this must be freezer two. So that must be freezer one, two, and then three. Aha! There's a passcode thingy. Get these get these out of my way. I don't want to get stuck in boxes, because this game is uh the physics aren't great. Hell yeah! I am Master Hacker. You can call me Anonymous1932.6. I'm just talking shit. Hey! That's Lily! Yep, that's Lily. Hey, Lily. Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. What happened to you? Okay, that breathing's annoying. Uh, calm down. Tell me who you are. Let me go. Oh, fine. If all you're gonna do is make annoying noises, I might as well do it. Am I? F I'm levitating. <laughs> Didn't I already drink your blood? Well, I called firsties. So you got my sloppy seconds, lady. Ugh, look at his neck. That is so not the right way. Okay, I hate your voice. The beast took over. It happens. Because it's our nature. I just told you that was what it was. Sorry, who are you? My name is Lily. Oh, I heard about you from E. It's not, he's not exactly a, a very ominous person. He's just standing on the beach talking to everybody. I said I'd help him. I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. That's very correct. Go on. Walt, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood. And apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions. And I did the same thing to E. But I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I... I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. You should go to E. He said he forgives you and he wants to see you. E doesn't hate me anymore? 
Quite the opposite. I'll go see him. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Oh, about tonight, what I did? Please don't tell Ian. Won't tell him. Goodbye. Computer's taking over. Oh shit. Why did you call Lily a bitch? Like, you locked her up. You're the bitch, sir. Um, what can I do to set this straight? Now that you let that one go, I have to go out and find someone else to fill the chair. But it's kind of chilly out, and now that my co-pilot's been devoured, I'm flying solo. I need a new body. Find another donor and I'll whip up a fresh batch. God, I hate you. Blood comes from out of... My phone's fucking ringing again. I swear to God I'm going to kill someone. Okay, now that I've sufficiently yelled at the person who called me, I am able to carry on playing the game. Hopefully, uninterrupted again. But I cannot promise anything because people like to bother me when I am busy, and that is just how the world works. It is a big piece of shit. Ranting aside... Blood don't grow on... <sighs> what can I do to make up for the girl I freed? Now that you let that one go. Yeah, 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 you need more blood. Uh, where should I look? The bitch who owns me and this place runs the asylum. Lots of young, stupid blood there. Not like the putrid, stinking, vagrant blood we so often get. Still shed any of the cubs know of. The missus don't appreciate it. Well, it's, I'm pretty sure it's an Elysium, so I'm probably not even able to shed blood there. An Elysium is a vampire term for a place where no violence is allowed. Um, it's like a vampire safe haven and a human safe haven. So normally it says like Elysium can't use any weapons here or even attack. So um, what have I got to do? I've got the astrolite and I've got the morphine. So where's this way? I need to go to Mercurio. I need to give him the morphine and then I need to give him the astrolite. Um, I need to go to the beach and speak to E, and tell him about Lily and everything, and get my experience points or whatever gifted to me. And then I can probably give Lily her shit back. I gotta give... I gotta give this guy his money back, unfortunately. I could lie and say I didn't find it, but he probably needs it, and I'll get humanity for giving it back to him, so... I'm going to need the humanity because I'm about to lose it by sending someone to become a blood doll. Ah, oh, damn, did you die on me? Uh, I brought you some morphine, hold still. I got the astrolite back. Yes, they left me no choice. I did, here it is. <laughs> With two hundred and fifty dollars, yeah, I don't think so. What am I supposed to do now? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a sabbat interest. Um, how do I find this place? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about it. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you guys. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hanging out at the moment. What? Why? Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Borman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. You want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. So, where can I find her? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some oh, so she's the queen bitch. Master. She's Vandal's she master. Okay, that's Vandal's master then. Um, what can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking blow for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Jeanette. Therese, Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. I would think so is Jeanette, but I hear rumors about her. 
Uh, rumors. All right, Jeanette got a body built for veterans. And I got close acquaintances since they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. But anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Vampires can't necessarily get off from that kind of thing, but it doesn't mean they can't do it to get money or people's attention or affection. You know. Who exactly? I'd like to know about Bertram Tongue. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Man of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Okay. Specific Never mind. Goodbye. Okay, so I'm done with this guy for now. Um my assumption is that he'll live, and so I won't have to... I'll probably see him later. People tend to disappear and then come back later and be like, Oh, thank you, so... Okay, do I have any experience? Oh, I have six experience points! That's good, that's good. Um, I don't need to put that up. Um, I could really do with having more lockpicking, but I need to be able to... I need more stamina, I think. The difficulty in this is getting the, the points aligned correctly. It's very easy to screw yourself over. And it's not like you can respec. Uh, I gotta find Bertram, but I gotta get on Therese Vorman's good side. Vandal wants me to get someone from the club to use as a victim. Uh, go back to E. Right, let's go back to... Yeah, let's go back to E. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone the complete wrong way. What we'll do is we'll go back to E, and then speak to Lily and give her stuff back, and then on the way back in this direction, we'll go to Asylum, and speak to the people in there, and from there... I got stuck. From there, we can convince one of the club goers to become a blood doll somehow. I can probably seduce him, trick him. But I'm gonna lose humanity for that, unfortunately. That's... I'm gonna have to buy blood later, so... Don't really have a choice. Last time I played this through when I was a Malkavian, I was able to use Dominate on his mind and tell him that nothing happened. So, and I was still able to buy blood. But it looks like I can't do that right now. As this guy, anyway. You brought my Lily back. She told me all about what happened. I don't know why you helped this, but your blood's worth bottling. I'll never let her go again. Thank you. You're welcome, E. Keep her safe. You're gonna be getting out of LA soon. A bit dangerous here. Those who told us something thinks about to happen, and I don't want to be here when the jack comes out of the box. Take that for what you will. I think I know what you mean. I'll think about that. Thanks, E. Good luck. Whoop, 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 whoop. Can you turn that off. God, that's loud. Get in trouble for noise pollution. Huh? 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 What is she talking about? Uh, wait a minute, I was nice to her. What did I do wrong? Yeah, I'm not the one who tore out that guy's throat with my teeth. Bye. What a bitch. I should just kill all these fuckers right now, but I'll lose humanity and... It's probably a masquerade vial. Actually, no, because they're all thin bloods. Well, I can't give her her stuff back, so I'm gonna sell her purse. Because she's a bitch. Like, that really sucks. Like, big time. Maybe it's because when she was in the, um, in the chair and I freed her... Maybe it's because when she was in the chair and I freed her, I told her that the beast took over and that's what's part of her, instead of being like, Oh no, oh it's okay, uh, Stupid bitch. 
Oh yeah, we should just punch her like whoosh, whoosh, right in the face. Give her the one-two punch. You can actually drink Thin Blood's blood, so I probably should have just. I probably would just do that, really. Time to go into the asylum. <laughs>